सो हु टोल्ड यू टू केयर वाई डोंट यू जस्ट माइंड योर ओन बिजनेस इंस्टेंट ऑफ ऑलवेज इंटरफेयरिंग इन माई लाइफ Your hands were literally shaking. You were not expecting this reaction at all. From now on, if I tell you that I don't want to eat, then I don't want. That's it. Take it away and get lost from here. He was about to turn but stop and looked at you. And if you have problem in adjusting with me and I seems a burden to you, then you are free to leave because I can't tolerate you and your words anymore. I'm tired of it. He picked his mobile phone and walked outside the room. Your tears were dropping on the floor like raindrops making the carpet wet near your feet. You left from the room holding the plate full of food which you brought for Janko. Without realizing how harsh his words were, he just spit them out. You are tired of his everyday drama. When he just come back home and doesn't even eat properly no matter what you make he just comes home as a formality just to show that yes he remember that he has a wife at home This is too much for you to bear in the beginning of this marriage you never say anything but now his coldness started to bother you he hasn't changed a bit over an year in fact now his ignorance towards this relationship has increased Today he just crossed the boundaries and said anything that came in his mind without realizing or bothering that how badly it hurts you. You brought him food because he left his food served downstairs after he got a call. You waited for him to come but even after 30 minutes of waiting he didn't show up. So you decided to check and there you found he was doing his work completely forgetting about the dinner. When you told him that he doesn't give a damn about some one's feelings and care and always think high of himself he burst out on you he took out all his frustration on you and said whatever comes in his mind that time Jungkook pulled the brakes and stopped the car on the side of the road he slowly leaned his head against the steering wheel and closed his eyes He realized that he said too much out of frustration. He felt the guilt building inside him for being so mean to you when all you were doing is caring about him. It's not like he hates you or he wants you to get lost from his life. There is nothing like that, but because it was an arranged marriage and the special bond is still not there between you two, he feels that you are just wasting time. He realized that he shouldn't have left the house after creating that drama. He again started the engine and drove back home. He came back and it was all silent. He straight went to the room to look for you. He decided to apologize for his mistake because he knew he was wrong. He didn't found you in the bedroom also and now he started to feel a bit nervous. He know that you are not the type of girl who would take any wrong step over something like this but in the situation he left the house those thoughts were coming in his mind I'm a stupid why did I even behave like a jerk He stopped when he noticed you sleeping on the couch curling up into a ball His steps slowed down and somewhere he felt so relieved to see you He came near you why I'm sorry No response from your side. Right then he heard a sob that accidentally left from your mouth which you were trying so hard not to let out. His heart clenched. He sat on his knees. Please don't cry. I'm apologizing for my words. I was just not in the right mind and said those words out of frustration. I don't really mean any of them. You were sobbing and your eyes became red and swollen. Stop crying, Maya. You can say anything to me. I won't mind. I know I can't take my words back, but I'm really feeling guilty. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Go do your work or sleep. Leave me alone for some time. You said still burying your face between your arms. 
I'll go if you come into the room and sleep there. Your back will start hurting if you sleep here. You finally lift up your face and met his eyes. He felt his heart clenching looking at your pale face and swelling eyes. Don't force me. I want some time alone, that's it. I hope I can at least get that. He decided not to insist about this so he nodded and got up. Okay, but please don't cry. I'm really sorry. You nodded without looking at him. He looked down and walked towards his room knowing well he wouldn't be able to close his eyes even for a second and will come back again and again to check on you. When he left, you again laid on the couch facing down and a sob left from your mouth. I wish you really meant your words and know exactly what you are doing. I really hope you understand it one day. In the morning, Jungkook looked for you everywhere but didn't find. He was checking on you whole night but fell asleep early in the morning. Now that he came downstairs, he didn't find you on the couch. So he thought you might be in the kitchen or somewhere, but even after searching the whole house, he didn't see you. He called out your name, but no response, so he dialed your number, but it was switched off. He rubbed his forehead. Where did she go? His eyes fell on a piece of paper which was on the table. He put the vase aside and picked the paper before taking a look inside it. You wrote him a note saying that you are leaving him because you can't stay here bothering him and his life. You accepted his apology for what he said last night but now you don't want to live in this relationship where you yourself doesn't know whether it makes any sense or not. Maybe I was not mean to you and we are just hurting each other living in this loveless relationship where we don't know whether we love or care about each other or just forcing ourselves to live together. Jungkook dropped himself on the couch. He dialed your sister's number but then ended quickly after thinking, I think you really need some time. Yes. She's just sleeping from morning and I also didn't disturb her. She doesn't look fine and in this condition, I don't think it's right to talk to her. Once she get a bit well, I will try to ask. She sighed and nodded when her mother replied. Me and your dad will talk to Jungkook. I don't know why their relationship is so fragile. This is not good for any of us and if this continues, I myself will ask him to divorce my daughter. I can't bear this anymore. Let's try to fix it with conversation, mom. You came to your sister's house because you didn't want to upset your parents again. You've already complained so many times in the past and now you don't want to trouble them again and again. Here also, Lily doesn't know what happened between you two because you didn't say anything and was sleeping from morning. She also didn't disturb because she knew how mentally exhausted you might be. Lily knocked on the door and came inside as it was already evening. I have brought you tea, Vyan. Now get up and eat something. You are sleeping for so long. She put the plate of tea and snacks on the table and came near you. Vyana, wake up. She was trying her best to cheer you because it hurts her to see her younger sister is suffering like this. I'm not sleeping only. Even your voice became so heavy because you were crying silently the whole time. Not for once you closed your eyes because all you can think is about Jungkook. You yourself don't know if you can live without him or not. You wiped your swallowed eyes and sat down. Lily was so hard to see her condition but still she tried to cheer you up. Enough of crying. You remember what Alex used to call you when you cry? A sad and weak chuckle left from your mouth.
You always shout at him when he calls you a balloon face. Let's drink some tea. It will soothe your throat and you will feel good. I baked your favorite banana bread. She said placing the big plate on the table. Thank you only but I'm sorry I don't feel like eating anything. She looked at you. I understand Ryan but this is not the solution for everything. You will only ruin your health. Take it and drink. I don't want to listen to anything. You quietly took the cup from her hands because you don't want to trouble her more. She said besides you. What happened this time, Ryan? Your eyes again filled up as you looked at her. Nothing only, but I have decided that I'm not going back now. Why? See, I understand you, but misunderstandings and fights happen in every household. If there is love, there are fights and arguments too. Crying and leaving your house like this is not a solution. You should fight back, resolve your issues. That's the problem only. There are no fights or arguments between us. We barely talk to each other as if we are some strangers and not a couple. But yesterday, Jungkook crossed his limits. I know he is under so much work pressure but he let out his frustration on me. He said that he is tired of me. I can leave the house if I want. He said he can't tolerate this. Lily understood your pain but she knew that how much you love Jungkook. Even if you guys get separate, you won't be able to live without him and that would be worse. Later, after pouring out all his frustration on me, he came up to me to say sorry. I can't understand that man only. He cares about me, but he doesn't. It's been a year and I still don't know about anything. Lily held your hands in her before looking at you. Listen to me. I know it hurts, Ryan, but sometimes things like this happen. Even me and Miles, sometimes if... He gets annoyed or frustrated about anything, he pour it on me and sometimes I do that too. It doesn't mean that we do that for purpose. Sometimes situations like that come, that doesn't mean we will break our family or relationship. And if he is guilty for his act and apologizing to you without any second thoughts, that then he value the relationship more than anything. Sometimes mistakes happen but if we truly apologize for that, then it should be forgiven or else only regrets left in the end. Our relationship is not at all like you and Miles only. At least you guys know how much you love each other. You guys show affection for each other. There's nothing like that between me and Jungkook. Even if we love each other, we don't know about it. It's all messed up only. So you have decided that you won't go back? You looked down thinking for a while and then nodded. It's better to stay away from each other to actually know whether we can live without each other or not. It's better to know the importance of this relationship before making any decision. Lily caressed your back and smiled softly. I'll be there for you in whatever you decide. I know my little sister is so mature. Oh no, this tea got cold. Give it to me, I'll reheat it. You nodded while she picked the cups and walked out from the room. You looked outside the glass door. You yourself don't know what you are doing, but you are just following your heart. You know Jakub might be so upset and hurt after you left him like this, but this is necessary. Necessary for both of you to know each other's importance, especially Jungkook. Jungkook closed his eyes and leaned his head back. It's been two days and his eyes are already yearning to get a glimpse of you. He realized how wrong he was for not giving you attention and always ignoring you. He hasn't ate anything because he doesn't feel like eating anything. Nothing seems to distract his mind and he can only remember his mistakes. Only if he wasn't that ignorant from the start, this marriage would be the best thing happened in his life. When your parents called him, he was ready to listen to them because he himself know he hurted their daughter and they have all the rights to be mad at him. They were calm 
and just told them not to hurt their daughter like this. If he doesn't want to get, be in this marriage, then he can simply divorce her. They won't mind. At least their daughter would be mentally stable, but only he knows how deep those words have. He is always afraid of falling in love or finding a lover for himself was never in his wish list because he knows he is worse when it comes to expressing feelings. Even if he fell in love with someone, it would take him years to confess his love no matter how much he wants to let that person know how much he loves her. It was an arranged marriage, so it will take time to build love, trust and care. He never hated you, but it was hard to say that he fell in love with you deeply. Although he did care about you, like why not? After all, you came in his life leaving everything behind. He has respect for you, but maybe now he has realized that he has already fallen in love with you. Your absence made him listen to his heart. He took out his phone and dialed her sister's number. We were sitting in the couch watching the beautiful ducks in water. This is Miles and his sister's farmhouse. Whenever they have to come to the nearby city for work purpose, they stay here. You he were looking sad because it's your and Jungkook's first marriage anniversary today and how sad that not even for a year you both live together. You already know that it would not be easy for you to live without Jungkook because no matter how hard you try to detach your feelings from him, you can never stop loving him but at the same time it hurts to feel like you are the only one wanting that person and he doesn't care. Your heart skipped a beat when you smelled a familiar scent. You were afraid to look back because somewhere you knew Jungkook is here and he was. He didn't able to control himself and came here to take you with him. He has decided that no matter how much he has to, has to apologize, but he will come back home with you. Am I allowed to come there? Your heart was beating so fast. Don't know why you were feeling happy, but at the same time, you just wanted to cry your heart out hearing his calm voice. I thought you will come back after refreshing your mind but seems like I hurt you more than that. Your tears started to fall. I really don't know why I behave like a jerk but I really need your care Ryan. I need you in that house to make it home. I'm ready to apologize in any way that you want but please forgive me. You could feel the sincerity and guilt in his voice. He is not much expressive but still he is trying his very best to make it up for it. Today exactly one year completed our marriage and it took more time to build this relationship than thought. I know somewhere I am responsible for it but please give me a chance Ryan. Aren't you tired of me? Didn't you want me to leave your life? You finally speak bursting in tears. He walked near you and sat in front of you. I already told you that I can't take those words back but I can surely make it up for that. Please don't leave me Ryan. Just give this relationship and me one chance. I promise you that I will never repeat this mistake again. He hugged you when you burst into tears. Lily smiled when she took a look inside what's happening. Jungkook talked to her and begged her to let him meet his wife. She already knew that Jungkook loves Ryan and sometimes these fights create the best way to find someone's worth and importance. You can't give up on someone because the situation's not ideal. Great relationships are not great because they have no problems. They are great because both people care enough about the other person to find a way to make it work.
You broke the hug and looked at him. And what if you repeat the same thing again? Then you are free to kill me. You again hugged him.